Okay, so we're back. Ian Hamilton, Len, uh, Leon Bartlett. Le I Len said Leonard Bernstein. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 no. Leon's our outline specialist. He's also our specialist in whole home water filters. And this is a big one here. Leon, you want to have a talk about it? Certainly. Okay. This is um, it's made by an American company called Crystal Quest. And it's called an Eagle. And it's a whole of house system. So this takes the water again. Similar but much more sophisticated than our twin stage system. Um, water coming from your mains through a sediment filter. Um, so getting rid of the crud for a start. Exactly, any yeah. dirt basically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, then from there we're going into this big drum. Now this drum is filled with um, some, basically it's a sand. Also um, the media called KDF, which we use in our ultra stream for removing heavy metals. Ah, uh, there is, there's that. an great. iron exchange media, right. and then there's calcium carbonate. Right. Now calcium carbonate does alkalize, but it doesn't really ionize and, and you know, it doesn't really increase the health qualities of the water. But if, but if you've got a plastic tank where it's pro most probably you're going to have a very acidic water, yes. that's going to affect the pH. Exactly. That, and that's really where it's come into, in, into its own. If people's got, oh, people yeah. have got any um, copper staining due to the acidity of the water, oh, then okay. we're lifting the pH enough to be able to at least stop yeah. that. I mean, yeah. Very few people realise about those plastic or fiberglass tanks, what effect they have. And they also think that uh, rainwater comes down neutral. Rainwater doesn't come down neutral, it exactly. comes down acidic. Exactly. It's going through all the CO2 and crud in the yeah. atmosphere. Yeah. And then the plastic tanks. I've had plastic tank people come in and say, well, look at my lovely water in your yeah. intestines, it's pH 4. Yeah, that's Shocking. right. Shocking. That's right. And where this system is really, um, the people that have been really buying it are usually been people in those sort of high agricultural areas. Yeah. They've got young children, they're what, doing baths, they're using a lot of water. They just want to know that every tap, all the water is as clean as they can possibly yeah, do. Exactly. And this, yeah. this one really does do it. Yeah, and there's many agricultural areas, for instance, the Darling Downs up here, it's a known problem. Yeah. You know, they call them cancer spots because yeah. of the amount of pesticides yeah. uh, and agricultural chemicals that are being sprayed in the air yeah. over the surrounding crops. They come down and they've got a great big net, which yeah. is their, the roof of their house, and yeah. it all falls on the roof of their house in the big spray, yeah. and all goes into the tank and it accumulates. Yeah, and then they're in a prime, prime target for all the animals who love to eat all of the you know, leftover fruit. And That's right. That's right, yeah. yeah which yeah. all goes into their water. That's right, exactly. So, exactly. Um, so what about this? Yeah, so basically it allows the the system, the drum media, to be rinsed and backwashed. So we can uh -huh. rinse the drum media in here. As you can see, there's a tube that comes out of the back that drains that water away. So you just, you, you've got it on, you just push it across the rinse, and it takes the crud that's collected in it and, and hoses it out. Exactly, yeah. And then we've that's got a, very cool. a backwash function that actually flushes the water back through the three filters as well as the drum. Right, right. Yeah. okay. So cool. it's not producing wastewater as you would have with a, a big RO system, right. but it does drain that water when you've got it on this backwash. And it's similar to, to a lot of people's um, uh, swimming pool, you know, filters Which where they have backwash filters. Right, right. So it's, yeah. so it's, it's actually extending the life of the filters. Uh, it's, it's maintaining high performance. Exactly. And this media, if you look after it, rinse it, backwash it, it'll actually last you for five years before you're having right. to replace anything. Oh, that's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. I don't think we've even replaced any yet, have we? No, we haven't. No. no. Okay, let's look over here. What so, we yeah, so next we're going on to, again, these cases, they're 20 inch, these are uh, two and a half inch diameter. Yep. Um, two and a half inch, really nicely easy to, in, to uninstall or to replace. Yep. So, so you can see, that. just unscrew that. It does come with our, um, does come with our wrench. Sure, yeah. And again, you've got your little button to release the pressure so right. you can re easily remove the cartridge. Yeah, so what's that cartridge? So here we're going for a carbon block. Okay. So, you know, any VOCs, volatile organic compounds. If yeah. you're on town water, you know, all of the chlorine, and yeah. then taste and odour. So yeah. chlorine, chemicals, VOCs, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Which we all know that, that carbon does a really great job in doing that. It does, yeah, yeah. Nothing, nothing better, okay. And finally, what we're going to is a membrane type of filter. Again, it's a little bit like a pleated filter, but we're going down to two microns. Okay. And we're removing bacteria, colloids, proteins, I don't know, it says viruses. I'm not sure how you feel about that. I wouldn't, I, if I was, had con any concern about viruses, I'd be putting a UV 
at the, at the very end to, yeah. um, to yeah. give myself but a hundred percent. But they say it removes viruses. That's right. Yeah. That's We're not saying it removes no, viruses. No. Right. Okay. Yeah. Just in our experience and our knowledge, yes. you know, viruses um, are tough. Unfortunately, you know, people, filter companies do say, you know, the minimum they, they'll sort of overtell their story, I think. Yes. Whereas we yes. do a test. Yes, we have to talk to our customers again. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Okay, UV. And so UV, yeah, it's really so important. Coming out of here into there. Again, so we go yeah, from a sediment filter through the drum, through the carbon filter, and through the UV membrane. Yep. Um, Again, the ultra, flow it's rate. not UV, sorry, ultrafine or yeah. UF membrane. So just before we go to the UV uh, lead on flow rate, um, it's, it's, still, it's like on the other one, you get good flow rate if you've got yeah, a good shower. Yeah, it's, it, look at, you know, in terms of your pressure, I think it's a, this is a, well, a maximum of a 60 PSI. Mm -hmm. with, it's going to be able to deal with your average household yeah. town water pressure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, again, if it was on really high pressure, you, you, you probably would limit it. Power. Exactly. Yeah. But, you, but because of the configuration, you're getting enough water yeah. through for a household. Very much. To yeah. not have yeah. um, drop off problems. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, I mean, we've sold these now for, I think, it's about maybe two years and I haven't it's had any problems, problems with no. them. Yeah. Um, we have in on on a couple of instances with um, with tank water, we've gone for a granular activated carb uh, carbon to get better flow rate, right? exactly. less pressure. Exactly, the tank's not pressing enough, not pushing hard enough. Uh, it's been a couple of experiences where the tank has actually been really, really, really cruddy, um, and using carbon block blocks up too quickly. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. That's good. So what you need to know with people is how good is your water is you know do you see sediment yep. in your water yep. right uh, what are the challenges of your water do you are you in a pesticide area is, is the bat poo and everything else poo possum poo etc on your roof yep. right you want you need to know that stuff yep. before you can you can work out the right configuration and you will configure it to suit and that's exactly the type of questions that, that we ask and help people so you know, if people don't need to spend this money, then we've got the the, yeah. uh, the cheaper yeah. quintet yeah. system. Yeah. I'm really happy to offer that. You yeah. know, in the majority of cases, yeah. this is when that really you say, I go in this really sort of tough area, yeah. and I've got really you know yeah. young children. I just oh, want to make sure that they're completely oh, yeah. protected. Yeah. And, and it's, it does an awesome job. Okay, UV. Going on to UV. So we've got the option. Um, again, UV is never, unfortunately, a cheap option. It is no, an expensive not. option. Yeah. Of putting a UV uh, light. And basically, the water travels through. The UV frequency kills the bacteria. Now, it is important with these that the water going through a UV has to be really clean. If there's any sort of turbidity or opacity, the, the actual UV might penetrate the water to kill the bacteria. So that's why we're going through this sophisticated level. Part of the reason why you know, we're going through all here first. We know the water is really clean okay. before it gets to you. Okay. And it does an awesome right. job. Yep, yep, okay, good. So, uh, this normally, if you're really, really worried about the germs, uh, bacteria, etc., you do. Exactly. Okay, yeah. Excellent, yeah. excellent. Fabulous. Good. Well, I think that pretty well sums it up for us. Uh, as you can see, we want to know about your water. We want to configure a system exactly for you. Buying a whole house system off the shelf. Don't do it, you know. You'll see them on the net. Here's a whole house system. No, no, no. Every home, we find in one street there can be different water. You know, it, it can be that different. So we, we like to configure it. We're in it for life. We want you to come back and be really happy and buy more of it. More of it. <laughs> <laughs> but also the, the important thing for me is knowing that you've got the right system that's going to suit what you need, you know, what you want from your water.